Hey everyone, so I just got back from the cabin from the opening weekend of Wisconsin trout fishing and it was an incredible weekend. Um, you know, I've really fallen in love with trout fishing over the last couple of years and I, I just love it. I love where these fish live, I love the way these fish look. It's just one of my favorite outdoor activities now. Um, it's even coming up on bow hunting. I think I might truly love trout fishing more than I do bow hunting, which I never thought I would say. But the opening weekend of trout fishing isn't so much about catching fish as it is about the people that are there. You know, we've, we, it's the first time we all get back up to the cabin after a long winter of being cooped up. It's kind of the first out, outdoor activity we all do together. So we get a good group of friends and family that head up to the cabin. Um, and it's just an awesome weekend. Of course we go out and we catch fish. But um, it's more about you know the time around the campfire and the stories that are told and the food that we eat and um, just being together for the first time um, in the new year. And it's it's just a lot of fun. So um, Friday night, you know, the group of guys got up there. We built the campfire and uh, the festivities began. We we're all telling stories, hanging out, cooking food, and it was just so refreshing to be back at the cabin, my favorite place in the world, with some of my favorite people. Um, and that's really what the opening weekend of trout fishing is all about. Now that I've given you a little bit of look of uh, what it looks like at the cabin and what the experience is like for us, I'm sure you get an idea of why we love it so much. It's just an absolute blast, but Saturday morning is when the work starts. Uh, Cameron and I got up at about 5.30 and headed to the stream. And unfortunately, the first four spots I wanted to go to um, already had several trucks parked at them. And I'm not the type to want to fish over the top of someone, so we went to a fifth spot that I've been looking at for a long time, but I'd never fished there. Um, and I did have some high hopes. I thought it looked like pretty good water. So I'll take you through what the opener brought for Cam and I. Alrighty, we are at spot E right now. We woke up, Cam and I woke up earlier than anyone else in camp and uh, our first couple spots had multiple trucks at them. So it's opening day, should have expected that. But uh, we are at the stream ready to roll on opening day. So. Any thoughts, camera on? Get this bread. <laughs> Alright, beat you to the stream. Did you lock the truck? Yeah. Alright. This is a spot I have never ever fished before. <clears throat> and I got new waders, so I'm praying to God they don't leak. Have you ever thought that maybe you're left handed? Do you have a fish? Dude. <laughs> First one of the day though, get your hand on it. So people don't hate on you on the old YouTubes. Pretty though. Oh, you got off because I was clicking my GoPro on like a fucking narc. Oh, that was a decent fish. Dang. Dang it, dude, I missed the first decent brook trout of the day. Every time you see one, you would end There we go. Well, we were just picking them off out of this hole here. I think this is our sixth fish, maybe. All right, dude. I think this is our sixth fish out of this hole. Um, I got one nice, maybe nine, 10 incher out of here, but I think my GoPro is on the wrong mode. So I missed it, but. Oh, 
I had a fish like on the, I think I lost my lure. Fish snapped me off, dude, on the, that was, Either, yeah, no, it had to be a tree that undid my. Don't, here, I got your net. This is a nice fish, dude. Lift your pole up, lift your pole way up. Up, 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 up. Oh my gosh, he is dogging you. Hell yeah. Dude, nice. There we go. All right, best fish of the day. So far, let's see it. We need to like pull over and build you an emergency fire or something. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this. Oh, my hands. I'm not bragging, but I've been in the water quite a bit. Ooh. Yeah, your pole made that seem way bigger than it is. This is a very ultralight pole. <laughs> I thought you just snagged into like a door. Alright, dude. Jeez. Get your tip out. Oh, he's swimming right at you. Get your... Dude, get your tip in the air. <laughs> That's a pretty fish. Yeah, he's really great. Man, I love when they got those dark greens. And... Yeah. I'd let that guy go. Alright. Oh, yeah. I'll be signing autographs after the show. Oh, there we go. See how I don't reel it up to the... Another pretty fish. Is it a big one? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> there we go. Dude, I love this pole. Oh, oh, oh. Ay. In the net. Pretty. So this pole would look like grounds, right? It could, I would. Yeah, I think so. Honestly, the pole's right behind ice and you can Did you see that, dude? Dude, how you? I have really big muscles. <laughs> but I'm also hooked on this. Oh, there we go. The fish saved me. <laughs> oh, did you see it? It was like a yeah. two incher. Yeah. Gosh, are these freaking fish just not the prettiest things? Yeah. Look at how red he is in the yeah. tummy, dude. Sorry, buddy. Nice. That was a good cast, dude. Ooh. Yeah, I saw it. You get? He's following. He's following. He's got you. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. Oh shoot! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't pretty at all. <laughs> Nice fish, dude. I saw him following it the whole time. Yeah. Is he keeping it? Yeah, oh yeah. 
I would. Your big one might have been the uh, king of that hole there. Yeah. Does this have audio? Oh yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> Oh, I wish you could have seen that cast because it couldn't have been more perfect. Like a little Jason Momoa thing of you walking through the water. <laughs> Ticket. Oh, <geez>. Ticket. <laughs> so as you can tell, it was a great opening morning on the stream. We caught lots of fish, had lots of fun, and a couple pretty nice brook trout too. Um, we were using our spinning rods and we caught a whole bunch of fish and uh, a couple couple that we decided to keep um, for the night, but um, I didn't catch my limit, so I did want to get back out to the stream, and as some of you know, I've been getting into fly fishing, um, and I really wanted to bust out the fly rod, so my brother Chris and I ended up going to the stream, um, we both got our fly rods out to give it a try. Alrighty, we finished our uh, morning, morning session, got some uh, awesome lunch made, so I'm here with Chris now, and we are busting out the fly rods, we got a stretch of stream, we've never been to but it looks decent and uh, we're gonna try our best <laughs> so any words of wisdom let's do it man <laughs> try your best I guess <laughs> are you rolling <laughs> dude my feet literally just gave out from underneath me Oh yeah, I saw a fish. Yeah, can you net for me? Or are you busy? Okay. Heck yeah. Woo! Hope I was recording on the pink squirrel. So unfortunately that was really the only fish I caught on a fly rod for the weekend. Um, I did, I was pretty proud of myself though. I caught that fish on a nymph under an indicator, which that's the only way, like the method of fly fishing that I haven't caught a trout yet. I've caught them on streamers, caught them on dry flies, and now I finally got the nymph thing. Um, and one thing I want to point out for any of you that watched my unboxing and getting into fly fishing video, I bought this Max Catch um, fly fishing system off of Amazon. It was a total system with everything you need to get into fly fishing. I think it was right around 170 bucks. And after the first couple weeks of putting it to the test, I would have to say um, I really recommend this to anyone who's getting into it. Of course, I'm a new fly fisherman. I haven't used a whole bunch of different things, so I can't compare it to a whole bunch of other rods and stuff like that. But for my level of trout fishing or fly fishing and just getting into it, I would definitely recommend it. One thing I can say right away is I updated the fly line to some real gold, which is a nice high-end fly line, and that tremendously improved my casting immediately. So for just getting started, you can totally get started with the fly line they send you and everything in that box. But once I upgraded the fly line, it just changed the game for me. I'm able to cast much further into the wind, much more accurately. Um, it's just been heads and tails better than what the fly line that came in that package was. So that's one thing I did want to point out, but if you want to check out that uh, Max Catch system and you're interested in getting the fly fishing, I'd highly recommend it. I'll leave a link for it in the comments below. So Saturday night we got back to the cabin. Um, we did keep a couple trout, you know, but we had nine guys or so up there, um, and we do a lot of catch and release. 90% of the fish we catch end right back up in the stream, but brook trout are delicious. I love catching what I eat. I love being able to you know provide food that I caught for myself and for the camp and everything so I think we kept either five or six trout for the day which of course between nine guys isn't enough so Saturday night was right back at it cooking over the fire cooking on the grill um, great food and cooking the trout we caught up which is just a delicious meal I absolutely love cooking fresh cut brook trout so Sunday morning we all got up a little bit later, cooked a huge breakfast. Again, one of my favorite things about trout fishing weekend is the cabin food. It's just good food. Um, we all, you know, kind of pitch in and cook different things. It's lots of wild game um, and just what I call cabin food. It's a lot of finger food and just delicious stuff. So 
that was a really good breakfast Sunday morning and we were fueled up to get back in the stream. So Cameron, my brother Chris and I decided to go right back to the stream. Cam and I fished the day before to give that a try. And um, I stayed behind the camera and just let Chris and Cam fish and we had quite a bit of fun. Nice fish. That out. Is it a nice one, Chris? Oh my goodness. One of the prettiest brook trout I've ever seen. I can release him. I have to release wow, him. look at that orange. That was, that was a beautiful brook trout. That was Slow your retrieve a little bit when you get in there. Oh, got him. Nice fish. But you're not ready. That's a, that's a nice one. Oh my gosh. Dude, get him in the net, please. Yeah, boy. Oh. Oh, dang. That was our opening weekend. Um, as you can tell, lots of good fish, lots of good fun, and just a great time. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Um, this means a lot to me. This is one of my favorite weekends of the whole year, and I was really excited to share it with you. So another thing I wanted to mention is you probably saw a lot of shirts and hats in this video that said Venado on them. That's actually the company that makes this fleece that I'm wearing and some apparel, and I wanted to give them a quick little shout out. They're not paying me to say this, they're not a sponsor or anything like that. I am friends with the people over at Venado just simply because they're great people. They make apparel for people like you and me that love hunting, love fishing, and love the outdoors. And um, not only is it great quality and really comfortable, this fleece here that I'm wearing, their bonfire fleece, is like a tattoo on me in the spring, fall, and winter. It is the most comfortable fleece I've ever worn, super warm, and I just love it. But above that, it's cool and comfortable, but they actually give back to conservation. They belong to 2% for conservation, so every time you make a purchase from this company, you know that your money is going to go right back into the hobbies, that, um, the hobbies and places and animals that you hunt and fish. So that's a really cool thing. You can feel good about purchasing from them. You're going to be buying clothes anyway, so I definitely... Um, recommend checking them out. They make great clothes and you can feel good about the purchase because they support what we do. So I always like to say support the companies that support us and they definitely do. So if you're interested in that, um, I'll leave a link to them in the description below as well. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do make sure to give this video a like, tell your friends about it, and we'll see you in the next video.